from PRX. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, this is an all intro episode, so don't adjust your ears uh, as you sleep through intro after intro after intro. Yeah, the all intro episodes are very popular. It's like uh, Perk on Patreon, too, if you really love them. Uh, but yeah, I want to make sure I had an episode for you uh, if you needed it or wherever you are in the world. So here you go. Intro after intro after after, after intro and mispronunciation after mispronunciation. If you're new, you might be like, what? Oh, it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. But before we get there, uh, these are the ways we're able to bring in this podcast free twice a week. Hey, everybody, this is Scooter, and this is where I ask you, uh, hey, <laughs> you, you, I don't want you to miss out on our Patreon. I don't know how often you listen to Sleep With Me. Patrons get four or five nights of episodes a week, so if you listen to Sleep With Me every single night, you're looking for variety, and you're looking to say, hey, this show really does put me to sleep, or you're looking for an ad-free experience. So on, uh, let me just run through the schedule. Sunday nights, patrons get a new ad-free episode. It usually comes out about a week before it comes out to the public. has no jingles, no thank you at the end uh, and no sponsor spots then on tuesday or no then on monday and wednesday no <laughs> very scooter monday and tuesday you get story only episodes so if you like to build a playlist uh story only episodes are great if you just like the stories or if you listen all night and then on wednesday you get another uh ad free episode that comes out about a week early full episode intro uh, friends beyond the binary everything's in there uh except for the sponsor spots because uh, you're supporting the show uh and you're supporting it for a ton of other people. And then on Thursdays, 10 to 20 hour patrons get all intro episodes, all night episodes, bonus episodes. And then we're gearing up for subscriber summer. And your support helps us make the show. So whether you're a $5 patron or you're a $20 annual patron, uh, it helps. Uh, it makes a difference. It helps us be there for you and tons of other people. And you get tons more stuff, tons more to listen to or to choose your favorites from, build playlists from, or just listen all night long. And you can sign up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron. If you sign up as an annual subscriber before the end of April, you get 16% off your annual subscription. That sale ends at the end of April. So do not miss out on that. That's a great deal. So uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron. All right, everybody, it is time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone, the one part of the podcast I need you here. It's where I pop my peas, if you please. I thank the listeners who supported the sponsors, supported the show, so the show could come out free twice a week. And I do want you to know, if you cannot afford to support the show or the sponsors, uh, do not worry. We've done surveys. You, you do, you don't. If you can't afford to support the show, you don't need to. It'll be here for you uh, because we have a lot of listeners. That means that there is a large number of listeners in a posi position to either support the show or or uh, support the sponsor. So don't worry about it. Like, like uh, I've heard from some, some people, and I just want you to know, don't worry about it. Uh, we're here for you. That's why I do things like the Sleepy Supporter Zone. So pressure off. You can spread the word about the show if you feel like you need to do something, though. Now, if you're in a position to support the show or a sponsor, but you don't live in the U.S., you know, we've tried some international sponsors, but we've had trouble. So if you don't live in that U.S., the best way to support the show is to become a patron or support the show directly on Apple Podcasts. Because uh, I heard from from Rachel in the UK who said, yeah, I'd love to support UK sponsors. And we have tried UK sponsors before. So if you did hear, if you do hear a, a sponsor specific to where you live in the world, please support them. But in the past, we just had trouble doing that. So if you get a lot of value out of the show and you don't live in the US, the best way to keep it going and keep it, keep it there is uh, to support the show directly. But I want to thank Rachel. You know, if, if you decide you don't want to support the show directly or support our sponsors uh, or spread the word about the show, but you want to be heard, uh, fill out the survey at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash survey or on our sponsors page and give us your feedback, you know, so we can figure out the ways to, to keep this show a going. So thank you, Rachel. The second part of the Sleepy Supporter Zone is you getting the support you need right now. Uh, if, if you're if you're having a tough time, um, there's links to resources, international resources you could connect with right now. It's also about being a part of community, being a part of positive change, not just saying Black Lives Matter, not just saying stop 
stop at API hate, not just saying support Ukraine, but taking action and learning more. There's links to resources where you could do that right in our show notes. And one of the things we're doing as a community is raising money and building hygiene kits for the Midnight Mission in Los Angeles for people experiencing homelessness. You could use the links in our show notes to take part. Please do so. We'd love it. Uh, and uh, that's the... Uh into the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Oh, Mystery Bar, a lot of people help out on the show. Who are they? Chris Posty Poster Song Sounds like an earful Wrote the theme song Edits episodes too. Carl W. The Legend Also edits episodes Ashley, Kenny, Scotty, Jennifer Runner, 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 runner Eric and the team Let us down They're on the website I am the Mystery Bar I do the lullabies, yeah I do commissions at Jonathan Man I'll write a song for you You see the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie, and Jennifer These are your moderators Get support, dear Scooter, on Patreon Buy the merch and support the sponsors You can find anything you want At sleepwithmepodcast.com And we're so proud Thanks, Mystery Bard. Uh, don't forget, get your sleep phones if, you, if you're looking for the most comfortable way to listen to Sleep With Me. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones and use Sleep With Me at checkout to get five bucks off. Uh, thanks, everybody. And what do you say we slow it down and get on with the show? Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Uh, well, welcome. It's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. Uh, yeah, we do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's a thoughts, a feelings, a physical, you know, something you're thinking about, something you're experiencing physically. Something that's coming up or, or, or uh, the, that's going on emotionally. Uh, or, you know, travel, changes in routine, baffling stuff. Uh, whatever it is that's keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice, and I know I mentioned do at the top of the show. I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones. Pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. Uh, tried to uh, just slow down my superfluous. They say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you have some? Slow it down. What do you got there? Uh, oh, are you? Is this one of those ones where I'm a boy with a wagon walking too fast, uh, sir? Uh, you, you, that doesn't look like a wagon to me, son. Oh no, this is just a superfluous tangent. Uh, what in the? What in the haymaker are you talking about, lad? Wait, sir, have you ever been a PE teacher? Because, because you just talk exactly like a, a 90% of PE teachers I've come across. Uh, son, I'm an authority figure, and I'm here to figure out what you're... Le- well, sir, maybe I could... I, I'll probably forget to come back to you, and hopefully I'll be sure to mention um, that movie, Never Ending Story or something, because... Uh, but I got to get to my new listeners. It, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to send my lowing, soothing tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, as you saw. What I'm going to do is I'm trying to create a safe place where you could set aside all the stuff that's keeping you awake, right? I said that. Uh, and it's ideally a safe place where I could just earn uh, or create or foster a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of space for you wherever you are, to get a little bit more comfortable, to get a little bit more settled, or to just be where you are, but to kind of listen to me, because maybe something else is going on. You know what I mean? It's kind of this weird, this is a safe place besides what's keeping you awake, and the reason it's a safe place is kind of counterintuitive, uh, because they send my voice across the deep dark and all that stuff. And a couple of things, if you're new, you don't really need to listen. This is one of the few podcasts uh, 
in few safe places once it's established. You don't got to pay attention to it. You say, okay, so I don't have to, this is a podcast, so aren't I supposed to listen so I can fall asleep? Mm, can kind of listen. You can listen. Uh, or you could barely listen to kind of see how it goes. Uh, you might want to move over uh, to a side of the safe place where you say, well, I can't quite, I can kind of hear you talking. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're new, see how it goes, I guess would be my thing. Uh, but no pressure to listen. There's also no pressure to fall asleep. Uh, like uh, the weird thing is uh, this is a podcast that's kind of here as you fall asleep. I know I say the podcast to put you to sleep because it's so flashy. Uh, But it's more of the podcast to be here as you drift off that you barely kind of listen, you know, kind of listen to or listen to it if you need to. Now, the reason the shows are an hour is to give you plenty of time. So if you, you know, if you can't sleep, uh, here's the thing. I make the show just as much for the percentage of listeners that can't sleep as the listeners that fall asleep in five minutes. Uh, So... Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess, uh, I don't know what my point was. Oh, my point was you don't need to listen to me and there's no pressure to fall asleep. Also, if you're new structurally, what to expect. Uh, I'm sorry, there's, are you in a, you're the authority figure wondering what that superfluous tangent is I'm walking around with? Okay, I just wanted to tell you about the structure of my podcast. What's a podcast, oh boy? Uh, it's something you might enjoy, audio, uh, this in this case, it's a pod. It has, starts off with an intro. Oh, like W Mac Radio. I'm not familiar with that, but did they say uh, W Mac? Uh, like w M A C Radio that puts takes you know puts the Mac in the whack or something. They say something. Oh, that's how they start their shows. Huh? Oh, you like uh, Rudy, Rudy Tootie? That's your favorite DJ. Hmm. That's good. That's interesting. Rudy Tootie. Uh, cool. Uh, do they play like what songs of the circus or songs of car- carnival? Is that like a, is that the, the happy fun carnival hour? Oh no, it's a serious talk. Okay. Well, we don't talk. That's uh, great to know. Yeah. So this show starts off in the intro, but it's a little bit different than that because, uh, the intro is a part of the podcast. Uh, it's a show within a show. How can there be a show within a show? Well, it takes some imagination, I guess. Uh, uh, the intro, here's a question for you. You, you see how I'm, uh, I guess because you're an authority figure, you just kind of walk, like, okay, this is it. Yeah, if you weren't an authority figure and you couldn't just walk up to people in their imagination and say, what are you doing leading that thing around? It looked like a wagon until I stopped and looked at it. If you weren't an authority figure, you'd probably have to kind of leave. If you were curious and you saw a boy walking around with a superfluous tangent on a leash, not a leash, by the way, but I could see how you'd make that mistake. Uh, you, 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 But if you weren't an authority figure, you might say, and you, some people might ease their way into the conversation. They might say, hey, is that a, what a, I mean, usually that's when I'm walking around, that's the usual attempt at rapport building when I'm walking around the superfluous tangent they say hey what's that because they want to say is that your pet but then they start to look at it uh, and it takes them out anyway so the intro is to ease people into bedtime as part of people's wind down routine for most listeners and new listeners will just kind of kind of discover how it works for them but a lot of people start the show as they're getting ready for bed, as, you know, and then they wind down. Maybe they're brushing their teeth. Maybe they're already in bed. You know, maybe they get a lot of, you know, human-animal interaction. They say, oh, yeah, I'm just getting my pets ready for bed. Maybe it's a family thing. You know, maybe you're listening. Whatever it is, it's just part of easing you into bedtime. Because I guess that's the thing. You can't really... I'm sure maybe for you and for some people, you could get in bed like an authority figure and you say, man, I'm, I bed like a boss. And I'd say, what a say, wait a second. I'm, what do you mean by that? Uh, anyway, you say, I bed like a boss, but I, you know, I would go to bed and I slam dunk it. 
And I'd say, okay, well, we're, pro- we're different, you know, different people probably because me, I need a wind down. I need to ease into bedtime. I need a long runway. I don't bed like a boss uh, unless, you know, unless your boss is riding around on a tricycle, uh, you know, we're trying to catch up with the boy that's leading a superfluous meander around. And I know he's got a headphones and he's listening to that station with the circus and carnival music. I'm sorry, they even confused me. I, I, I know that was a pointless meander. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that was. But uh, so I, I guess that's the intro. It's like uh, it's something familiar. Ideally, it's comforting or reassuring. Or you just say, okay, Scoots is here. He's not gonna. He's gonna try to make some sense. Probably won't get there. And uh, you know, it's just part. Just to establish a safe place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. So that's the intro. Then there's some business between the uh, intro and the show. And then there's a uh, there's a, what do you, what comes out? Oh, tonight it's our premiere pilot episode of our uh, episodically modular serial new series uh the adventures of dr triangle and isosceles is the working title of it uh what's a working title well when i think that's going to be the title but i'm not 100 percent confident that's going to stay the title why well, have a title at all Oof. you really do you, do, you really do, do gym teachers what do you see do you see the world as uh uh, never mind. I, I I was a PE teacher, so I'm just using you as a. I'm, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was wrong. It, it, like I was wrong. How is it again? I'm sorry. I was wrong, and uh, I'll try to find a new uh, straw person for my uh, like uh, authority. Uh, trying to find a new figure for authority figures uh, to represent them. Okay, I'll just keep referring you to you as the authority. Can I at least allude to the fact you have a flat top? And uh, okay, yeah, because I had a flat top once too. So, um, so that's the structure of the show. It ends with some thank yous and some good nights. Most new listeners find that uh, the first time they listen, they kind of say, "What in the?" Because the podcast is different, different than they expected. Doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily apparent at first how it works or if it would even work. And for some people, it doesn't work. So give it a few tries. If it doesn't work for you, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you and you can find some other options there. Uh, but so th- that's the structure of the show and what you need to know. And yeah, I'm just walking around with my pointless meander. Yeah, no, that's like a, that's like a, one of its, it's, that's its holding hand. It's not a leash. It's one of its hands for holding. Yeah, it does look a bit like a, like a, yeah, it's tough to kind of see because it's almost like it changes when you look at it. I could see on first impression that you saw, thought it was a wagon because, you know, I'm just leading it around the town square here. But you could kind of see it has a long tail. Yeah, it does have influences of, uh, uh, you know, other forest friends we could talk about or fantasy friends. Uh, but yeah, can't, I mean, I mean, I guess for me, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of, you know, I'm the kind of kid walking around, leading around a pointless meander. And you're the kind of person that beds like a boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whenever I say beds like a boss, my brain goes somewhere else immediately. And then I say, am I comfortable with that or not comfortable with that? How am I feeling? Because it's complicated, you know, but, uh, you know, you, but I, I do, I am aware that there are people that fall asleep as soon as their head hits a pillow. And I would say that is like, you say, man, I dunk on my pillow, your head, right? You just put it down, boom. So that's great for you. So you might not need the podcast, uh, but you might listen to it, you know, for relaxation purposes or, uh, you know, for, just say, well, I need something that's a little bit different today. Uh, so that's it. I don't know. That we, you know, this was an interesting intro. I'm glad to meet you. I, I'm very clear that uh, you're one of the authority figures that lives within me. Is one of the many thousands of uh, beings that you know join me when I put my head down to rest. You know, I could use somebody that beds like a ball. You know, the, but anyway. He said, where's that person that says, I, 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 you know, I bed like a boss, you know, the other, uh, 
He said, oh, nobody seemed to. Okay, well, thanks. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm basically here to keep you company as you drift off uh, because I want to help. I, I've been there and, you know, not uh, putting my head down and falling asleep right away. Though this morning, just to give you a little bit of taste of hope, I was awake, uh, but and, and I, don't, I don't usually, I'm not usually a ton of covers person, but it was raining and it was a little bit chilly and I never noticed this, but I had my, you know, when people say they have their covers pulled up to their chin, my chinny chin chin. I did. I had my covers pulled up to the the hairs on my chinny chin chin. And it really just felt good. Uh, so I don't know if you want to do that now. You know, you could shrink in or you can expand. Sometimes it's not, it's good in the, the breeze of the morning. And, of course, I said, Oof, I don't know, I really felt good. I guess that's rare for me to say, wow, this really feels good. I got my covers pulled up to my chin. I had a laugh. Uh, I really did. I said, I caught, it was like I caught myself. I was already awake, uh, but I kind of naturally gone into that position. Uh, you know, when you, when you're, uh, when you get, you're in kind of morning cat mode, and, uh, it was, you know, I knew I had to get up, but I wasn't in a total rush. And I said, I just said, well, I feel kind of cozy. And then I said, well, my, my covers are pulled up to my chin. No wonder. Usually I'd just be like, that's too warm for me. I'd say my, my shoulders need to breathe. Uh, my shoulder, you know, I always talk about kissing your own shoulders as a, a symbol in an act of self-care. And so I like my shoulders available for kissing at all times. But the, today, this morning, my shoulders did not, they weren't demanding uh, fresh air or anything. So anyway, I guess mostly what I'm trying to say is I'm glad you're here. And I work very hard and I strive and I yearn. I really want to help you fall asleep. And uh, thank you so much uh, for coming by. Oh, and here's a couple of ways we keep the show uh, going. Sleep With Me is brought to you by Progressive. Most of you aren't just listening right now. You're driving, cleaning, and even exercising. But what if you could be saving money by switching to Progressive? Drivers who save by switching save nearly $700 on average. And auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Multitask right now. Quote today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance company and affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $698 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2021 and May 2022. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake. So whether it's uh, thoughts, you, you know, things you're thinking about, uh, or your mind's thinking about and trying to get your attention about, uh, physical f feelings, you, you know, anything you're experiencing physically or feeling emotionally that might be coming up. Uh, I'm going to try to take your mind off of that. What I'm going to do is I got this real nice, uh, safe place set aside here where you can uh, set aside whatever's keeping you awake, right? like I said. Uh, then what I'll do is uh, send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, uh, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, holy cow. Uh, you, 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 you see, I've never, seen, I've never seen superfluous tangents, for one, but I've never seen, you have su your, your superfluous ta ta tangents, uh, they, they, they don't, they don't, they're, uh, they have a different, they're different than a, the normal, you see, they have a low viscosity, they're super, flu, flu, super fluidity, but a low viscosity. How do you do it, Scoots? And I say, well, I use a slow stirring motion, very slow. I scrape the sides, kind of like a, like a, 
Yeah, they, that's what I do. That's one of the ways I do it. Creaky uh, dulcet tones, pointless meanders. So basically what the podcast is here for, if you're new, hi, how you doing? I'm glad you're here. I hope I can help this. Now, this podcast, I'll give you a heads up. It doesn't work for everybody. Uh, but give it a few tries. I hope it, I hope it can work. I hope it can help. I hope it works for you. Uh, the reason I make this show is because I, I have trouble falling asleep. Sometimes, uh, I, you know, I, I deal with other stuff, waking up, uh, you know, trip stuff, uh, traveling stuff, uh, you know, thoughts, feelings, physical sensations. I get all those things going. And I just make this podcast kind of take, take your mind off of that. So if you're new, let me give you a couple of things of what to expect. Uh, podcast is, I usually say it's a little bit different, but that's a mild way of saying it. it's pretty different than a normal podcast or even a normal sleep, like, uh, like something like geared towards sleep. It's really like a company, like you say, a co- company you don't company that's kept, but you don't need to keep. I think maybe I should seal that one up. I don't think I've said that. Sleep with me. It's like company that's kept that you don't need to keep. And you say, Scooch, what do you mean? Well, let me try to explain that to you. Let me get to the new listener, though. So if I guess a little bit different structurally, what to expect is a show starts off with a few minutes of business. That's how we keep the podcast free. So in this example, it would be like if the company shows up, you say, I want to greet you, right? Uh, well, I guess like, no, that's different. Uh, it, it's just what we're able to keep the podcast free. You say, well, that's how we keep the porch lights on. And that's how I have these, you know, the, 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 the place to greet you, you know, is uh, the, the people that support the show and support the sponsors. So, so just, it's, that's not so much important for new listeners uh, as regular listeners. So it starts off with business. Then there's an the intro. Uh, which kind of you it, you might get to the point of the company has kept it. You don't need to keep it right away because the intro is kind of a show within a show. For a lot of people, it's part of their bed down bedtime. I call it the bed down wind down routine. Yeah, but as you get into bed, like I think a lot of things that don't necessarily work kind of think make you feel like, hey, this is going to be quick. I'm going to snap my fingers. I'm going to count to ten. You know, I'm going to jingle some wind chimes and I'm going to go, ooh, you know, scooby-doo. And then you're going to be asleep. And, and, you know, I'm, uh, I've been doing this a long time. That's how I got these creaky dulcet tones. You know, at one point, my meanders used to have a point, but, you know, dulled off. Uh, but so what was my, what was my point? Uh, so uh, the intro is, uh, it's to ease you into bedtime. So if you're not interested in the intro, you just want to get to the talk, part of the show where tonight we'll be talking about Doctor Who, just skip till about 18 or 20 minutes or so. And uh, so, but so, so there's the intro is like where I talk about the podcast for about 12 minutes and ramble in kind of a monologue type fashion. You know, have, as, as we like to say around here, these parts uh, heavy on the log to have you saw in logs. It's more of just like a friendly, friendly banter, just like if you're greeting guests at the house. But th- here's the good thing. This, this podcast, that's where it all ends. You don't got to greet me because you just hit play. Now you can say, oh, there's Scooch rambling, but I won't be able to hear you. Even if your partner says, is that that pod kid talking nonsense? And then you might say, he's a pod man, dear, without a doubt. And then you can both have a laugh at that. And, and, my, and I wouldn't hear any of that. Uh, you know, dude, just you, you go ahead, crack yourselves up. Uh, you say, pod kid, he's more like a, he's a pod tween. And it's like, well, that's, that pretty much sums me up. And so, oh, so what was my point? Oh, so the intro is kind of like a, a familiar friend that you don't have to entertain or that you can talk about in a jestful way or just wonder about, you say, what's going on with Scoots tonight? Man, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm only kind of listening. Well, didn't he just start talking? Well, yeah, but I'm kind of conditioned to, to, to just barely listen. That's one of the other things around the show. This is one of the few podcasts you don't need to listen to. Uh, you could just kind of be around it. So it's like where the company is kept, uh, you say, well, Scoots is kind of keeping me company, but I don't have to keep him, you know, I don't have to, 
it's it's a weird social di- it's not a dyna- it's a social dynamic without the dynamic parts you say there's no di- there's no dyn di- di- well, how do you say that di- there's no dynamics here like i said there's this is super fluidity at a high viscosity oh no maybe it's a low viscosity you're right thank you you totally ma- mixed up my uh, mixed up metaphors uh, but so the oh so the intro is a way to introduce you to the show and ease you into bedtime and just kind of goof around maybe make bedtime a little bit less serious maybe like uh, you know take a little bit of the grouchy poos out of bedtime because I know for me I, t- I talk about I haven't talked about my brain bots uh, uh, but a lot of times my brain bots it it is like a bunch of guests showing up as soon as my head hits the pillow all of these little uh, Unifunction parts of my personality start. Uh, I hate to use this word, carpen. They they say he drew. How come this? Uh, did you realize our efficiency? To, we didn't even track our efficiency today. How inefficient is that? And I'd say okay. And then the sixth grade part of me say, How come you, you were you the last person in your class ever to kiss a girl? And I'd say, Well, I didn't kiss a girl in sixth grade. So uh, technically, no. And then my second and eighth grade things were point of order, point of order. And I, I'd say, okay, like, I'm trying to go to bed here, actually. And then my, like, another part of me would be like, when, what month is it? When is April 15th? Oh, my goodness. Uh, and then, another, you know, there's different parts of us. Uh, and they want my attention, really, like a guest would. And uh, it, it, for me, at least, it's really hard to say, hey, listen. I mean, I guess as I've done the podcast, I have learned to say, hey, uh, probably not the best time to, to discuss this stuff right now. I'm just going to listen to this podcast. Uh, but this podcast, let's all like, and you could snuggle up with them and you say, hey, like, let's get snuggled here. Scoots is our guest uh, that we don't have to entertain. And he can bear, he barely entertains us. He doesn't know the difference between high and low viscosity. It, despite like despite consuming over his lifetime uh, four thousand hours of motor oil commercials, uh, and my efficiency brain would say, "What? Actually, that's actually a holy cow! That's completely accurate." You know how come that doesn't happen? Like like you say, okay, when I'm moving on to the next phase of existence, uh, they'd say, "Well." Let's see, you know, you try. You tried to do this, you tried to, let's see, I would like that rundown. You see, are you going to, can we, can we have like a stats component or can I get a couple infographics and, you know, instead of the whole Peter thing or whatever, or, you know, the, the limbo or could, could we just do run through, you know, for maybe 20 years, you know, cause you have all the data up there. I'm assuming you say, well, let's run through some info. How many hours of motor oil commercials have I consumed? Uh, you know, I'd like to see the top 30. I would be interested in that. You say, okay, bre- you know, breakfast cereal's got to be way, way up there. Uh, but motor oil, I would put it in the top. I mean, like, uh, you say, what's, a, like, how come that's not an SAT word? And they'd say, well, it's overused. That's why viscosity. I mean, it's probably hard to spell. So maybe they do, well, they say, yeah, we can't use it in the spelling bee because it's a word that every child's seen. Any, you know, most children, not every, you know, some ch- children aren't watching uh, every single thing. I guess they don't have, uh, here's the thing, if you're if you're a motor oil company, free advice. Actually, I probably have seen, you know, freaking ads from you too. But uh, most, now that I've talked about you, clearly, next time I do a search, to be like, uh, have you thought about uh, Vervaline? Uh, it's mid mid viscosity. It's the only mid viscosity motor oil. It's uh, hypersynthetic, and I'd say, hmm, interesting. You've been listening in to me, eh? Uh, so okay. So what was I saying? Oh, you don't need to listen to me. Also, no pressure to fall asleep. The reason the shows are about an hour is because uh, I want you to have plenty of time to ease into and drift off at your leisure. Just like a guest, I'd say, hey, well, I'll be here talking. Don't worry about keeping me company. I'm here to keep my company's kept. Uh, the company that's kept that you don't need to keep, right? Is that what I said? Like, I'm keeping you company. You're not keeping me company. So I'm just going to be here talking. 
And that's the other thing is if you can't fall asleep, I'm going to be here for about an hour. So if you can't sleep, you can queue up episode after episode. I'm here to the very end. I make this show because I truly believe you do deserve a good night's sleep, a good night's rest, uh, some moments of uh, comfort and solitude. And if I can enable that somehow, uh, you know, this an honor is so, something that's powerful. Uh, and if I can have a connection to that, just rambling and and, and uh, then talking about Doctor Who later. And you might say, Scoots, I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't, I don't let's say, okay, don't worry, you, you won't recognize it. You'd say, was that a, was that a story, an avant-garde story about pencils? No, that was, Scoots was talking about, uh, it, it says Doctor Who in the title, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I say, yeah, that's right. I'm just talking Doctor Who, uh, but in a meandering, lulling, soothing way. And I think that that's about it. You don't need to listen to me. No pressure to fall asleep. The shows are about an hour. Starts off with the the intro. Then there's, you know, the business intro, uh, business, uh, Doctor Who for about 45, 50 minutes and some thank yous at the end. And that's it. Uh, and, and give the show a few tries. 99.9% of listeners uh, said it, it took a few tries before they, it started working for them. Uh, but it, what I really want you to know is I'm glad you're here and I work very hard. I strive and I yearn and I really want to help you fall asleep. But thanks again for coming by. And here's a couple of ways we keep the show a going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's a thoughts, a feelings, a physical sensations, changes in time or temperature. Uh, change like a uh, routine. If your routine changes, of course, uh, I want to be here to help with that. Uh, whatever's keeping you awake. So it could be stuff you're thinking about. It could be something you're experiencing physically, feeling emotionally. It could be that you're working the second or third shift to travel, whatever it is. I'm going to take your mind off of that, or I'd like to try. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. So you will be going off topic. Uh, because a lot of people ask, like, so let me just you talk about creaky. It's creaky, dulcet tones. And, like, that's a totally legitimate question people have. It's creaky, C-R-E-E-K-Y. I think you can hear that part of it. You say, creaky dulcet tones. That is what you sound like. Dulcet. Like, a lot of times people say, oh, those are dulcet tones. Like, we, we, uh, uh, those are, like, the sweet, sweet sounds, you know, like uh, of the great crooners of the world. Uh, but so, oh, what was my point? Oh, creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night and use those things. And if you're new, maybe I'll talk about that a little bit. But, uh, so if you're new, I guess what I'm going to do is send my voice across the deep, uh, all you need to do is get in bed. I think I covered all that stuff. Uh, so if you're new, let me t tell you a couple of other things. I'm glad you're here. I'm really just trying to create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, like right, uh, and and get comfortable, get, get you know, and and, and uh, get some rest. Uh, but so, oh, structurally, what to expect? So here's what to expect structurally if you're new, or one thing is if you're new. It, a lot of people say it takes two or three tries to get used to this podcast. It's like a re it's like a to reverse kind of tolerance because some people say, oh, you build up a tolerance to that, and like uh, you, you uh, like in this in this case, you kind of learn not to tolerate scoots. Uh, it's like a tolerable level of background noise that, that you can tune in and out of, I guess, in some sense. Uh, so what do I mean? Uh, so this is a podcast you don't need to listen to. Uh, that's kind of one of the general rules we have around here. It's like, okay, first rule, you don't really need to listen to me. You can listen to me, 
But if you find it's better to lower me down to uh, like a tolerable mumble, that's fine too. Or if you want to listen to me, that uh, I make the show from beginning to end. So if you want to listen or you need to listen, you need some company because uh, you can't sleep. I'm here to the end. And that also goes with the second kind of rule or kind of like almost a general. I don't know what like what's a rule that you don't really need to follow guideline, I guess. Uh, suggest suggested guideline or suggestion. You don't need to listen to me. No pressure to fall asleep. Uh, this is one sleep podcast where I'm actually not here to put you to sleep. I'm here to keep you company while you fall asleep. Uh, however long that takes. Uh, for some people, it literally is a few seconds. And for some people, they don't sleep. Uh, they, they just uh, listen. So you fall asleep as you wish. If you can't sleep, I'm going to be here till the very end. And you could queue up episode after episode if you need it. Uh, that's the purpose of the show. That's why I put so much work into it. And in some sense, I really think that is one of the reasons it works is because uh, because I put so much work into it. You really don't need to listen to it, and, but you could listen to it. I don't know. But so you don't need no pressure to listen, no pressure to fall asleep. It just kick back. Uh, structurally, what to expect if you're here with me this far. The show starts off with business. Uh, that's literally what in the business at the top of the show and between the intro and the story is literally how we're able to bring the show to you for free. Uh, so I appreciate that's more for regular listeners. If you're new, that stuff's not important. The business stuff's not important. If you're new, you know, more see how it goes. So after the business is the intro. And the intro is uh, like around 12 to 14 minutes or so of me rambling and talking about nothing would like uh, yeah, that would be ways to portray it. It's most it's it's like a, it's a wind down or like an easing into bedtime. So instead of a quick intro, this is just my thought about it. Like if I had a quick quick intro, which I used to do, then at some point I accidentally stumbled literally on these longer intros, and then people said I really liked the longer intros and. So then we kept it, it just evolved over time. And what I discovered in a face palming moment was uh, if you get straight to the story, uh, then it's like, oh, wait a second, I'm supposed to fall asleep during this. Oh, I got to start falling asleep now. Uh, or, oh boy, the story started. Maybe it, when's the story going to end or something? And it just makes sense. Like an essential part for me and a lot of people falling asleep is like having some sort of a bedtime routine. This just packages like one part of it is like uh, the wind down. So the intro is familiar. I try to explain what creaky dulcet tones are and the structure of the show. It just takes me about 12 minutes, which allows some listeners to ease into bed, some listeners to fall asleep. You're totally allowed to skip the intro, particularly like if you're a patron, it's easier because you get the story only versions. But if you're not, you just skip ahead to like 18 or 20 minutes or something. Uh, so those are some ways to use the intro. Other ways are that people listen during the day to the intro or the podcast to say, okay, I need a little break during my day. So the intro could be what puts you to sleep or what eases you into bed or what you listen to as you're getting ready for bed. Any of those ways, no wrong way to do it. Uh, like I said, I, I've heard from people that don't even speak English at all and they listen and they say, geez, I just put it, I don't, like, I don't know, it just helps me fall asleep. And there's people that listen so low that they, it just is like me muttering a little bit. So there's not a, an incorrect way to just test it out and see what works for you. Uh, so it's an intro, then there's some business, then it'll be a bedtime story. Uh, tonight it'll be a uh, like a, a revisiting, of, we'll return to the cloud tower in the sky and they have a new thing going, so that'll be cool. It's like a visit uh, to, uh, uh, like, I don't know, you'll see if you, or you don't need to. You know, you could see what, see how it goes. Uh, but we did another episode, like, about a year ago with this uh, one. So uh, then there'll be some thank yous at the end. So it's the structure of the show. And you don't need to listen. Those are also some elements of the show, the long intro nonsense that I kind of ramble. I don't make a lot of sense. 
uh, pacing. Some episodes are ba- paced a little differently than other ones. Uh, this one, I'm trying to get a nice uh, slow pace going here uh, for the people that like the su- super slower episodes. So, so you could also do some people slow the episode down in their podcast app or uh, uh, rarely, but some people do speed it up. I don't, I think most people listen at one. Uh, those are just things. Oh, ju- this is maybe this will be my off topic thing. Instead of creaky dulcet tones, it's like podcast apps. Uh, now, this is a podcast. I guess it's also kind of a show. Uh, but so, like, the, the easiest way to consume the show is in a podcast app. And the only reasons I say that is it doesn't like, uh, doesn't really impact me how you listen to the show. I just want you to be comfortable. Uh, some of the nice things about podcast apps are two of the things for this show. It's like you can change the speed. So a couple, like a, some podcast apps, you can go down to 0.8. I know, I think like a couple of people listen at 0.5. I, I, to me, uh, that's, I've listened to my, you know, it's just an out of body thing for me listening. Uh, but the great features other than that are that you can set a sleep timer so if you want to if you want to set it uh, at forty five minutes or sixty minutes, you could do that. Uh, but you can also in a lot of podcast apps create playlists, and so some listeners will create a playlist of eight or ten episodes, or patrons will create one with like a regular episode and then story only episodes, and then set a sleep timer, but it'll be for like eight hours. Uh, there's also some podcast apps that let you start it at a certain point. So people that like uh, don't want to become a patron but want to skip the story or skip to the story, you could just get it and set it to start at 18 minutes. Uh, so I don't know. The playlist thing in, in the, the sleep timer, the kind of cool features about podcast apps, like uh, most phones come like Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts. Uh, are both free. Spotify, Radio Public are free. Uh, Pocket Cast is a paid app that's great. Overcast is a patron support, like a like you you can the app is free, but then you can support it, uh, which I do. And I actually use all the apps uh, because uh, because you know it's my job. So if you don't listen to podcast app, try it, and then you can subscribe, which is also free. And what that just does is it makes sure, like, when the latest episode's out, you could either set it to download the episode or not, or give you a notification or not. But it just makes it a little bit easier to consume. So it's just a little, I guess that's a little bit about podcast apps. One way to listen to a podcast, there's there's other people that listen in a desktop app. And there's kind of higher level users or, or people that download it via MP3 and put it on an external device. That's an option, too. Uh, there's some people listening on YouTube. I'm trying to think of what else, uh, what other use cases I've heard of. I think there's other, like, uh, some people might stream it through a browser. The only thing with something like that, I mean, the nice thing about a podcast app is you, if you download the thing, you can put your phone on uh, moon mode or even airplane mode and still listen to the show once it's downloaded. Or if you're on a, a PLANE, or you don't have service, uh, you can download the episodes. Uh, so just a little, I, I don't know, I don't think, think I've ever done a podcast, uh, talked about po- the podcast, uh, podcast apps in the intro before. So hopefully it's helpful to some of you or even to regular. So you say, oh, wait a second. Yeah, uh, let me set a sleep timer. I love that idea. Or me, let me make a playlist. Uh, because some people also like certain styles of shows. So then you just make a playlist if you say, Oh, I really liked the uh, Big Farm in the Sky series. Uh, I'm going to make a playlist from that. Or, you know, I, I prefer to avoid the TV-style episodes. What you do is you just archive those uh, or make a playlist that doesn't include those. Really cool. And most podcast apps are very intuitive, so it makes it kind of easy where you just Google, how do I make a playlist on this app, uh, Podcast Attic? That's another Android, popular Android app. Uh, that's also free. So let's, I thought of one other thing about it. Okay, so you can skip certain types of episodes and make a playlist, check it twice. You know, if you're a patron, you can listen in a lot of podcast apps to your bonus stuff right in a podcast app. Uh, but that wasn't what I was thinking of. I thought of one other thing. I'm trying to th- picture myself listening to podcasts. I don't know. I think it was playlists. Uh, 
You say, oh, okay, what else uh, do, would people be surprised you could do? In a, oh, you can search. Uh, so, like, uh, no, this isn't every podcast app, but I'm sure most of them will adopt this slowly. So when you're listening to this, your podcast app may already do this. I know an Overcast and Podcast Addict, uh, you can do this. Is If you go to sleep with me on there, or you're a patron, and you go to your patron's version of Sleep With Me, then when you bring up just that podcast, you're subscribed to it, you could search within the podcast feed. And I use that all the time, not just for Sleep With Me, but for other things. Because uh, you say, oh, like... Uh, you know, what, what episode did they, like, if it was a, like a, an outdoor podcast, they say, what episode did they talk about waterfalls? So I'll bring up uh, the uh, the walking podcast, for example. I don't think there was a waterfall episode. And then I'll say, type it, then I'll search, well, was there a waterfall episode? Or or 99PI. I'll be like, have they talked about MISO on, on there? And then I'll bring up 99PI, 99% Invisible. And then I'll uh, type M-I-S-O, search, and then I'll say, is it'll answer that. Uh, then I'll forget, like I did now, and I'll say, when I get done recording, I have to search again to see if they did an episode about MISO. Or Plaid, you could check articles of interest or, uh, or 99PI. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, that's a little bit about podcast apps, uh, which I greatly appreciate because uh, it really works well with putting, like, uh, it just aligns with the, the, the UI, the user experience, uh, the user interface. Uh, usually it kind of aligns well with the idea of putting people to sleep. And me talking about uh, tech, you know, this side of podcasting apps, I can tell it's uh, sleepy gold. But you know who really is gold? I'm not being smarmy. is you. Like, I make this show because I believe you deserve a good night's sleep. And I hope I could help. I work really, really hard on this show. Because I, I'd like to, like you to be able to drift off or at least feel comfortable and nice. And you say, okay, well, I'm in bed and I'm comfortable and Scoots is here to keep me company. So I really appreciate you checking the show out if you're new. Give it a few tries because I really I, I strive and I yearn to help you fall asleep. And here's a couple ways we keep the show a-going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, you know, th things you're thinking about, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, physical sensations, travel, you know, stuff. Like, so if things on your mind, if things on your list, uh, or things that, you know, things that are listed, uh, something physical, something you're feel, you know, feelings, uh, you know, for me, a lot of times it thought it's a combination of those where the lines blur. I mean, I guess we're all, you know, one big, uh, I try to tell that to all the personalities inside me. I say, aren't we want one big happy family in here? I don't know if I've ever actually said that, but one day I would like to achieve that level of, uh, self-enthusiasm. Is that what I, 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 I don't even want to say self-enthusiasm again, because it gives me a whole, like, uh, Anyway, I get a, uh, if you're new, maybe I come back to that. I don't know if you, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, which you just witnessed. And in, that one was instantaneously, is spontaneously superfluous. Wow. This, I don't think I've ever said those two words together. They just kind of fit. I really, I, I hope I could get on like a Broadway variety show, also get talent, ability to sing and dance. They'd say, Scoots and Barbara are here with this next number. Uh, uh, spontaneously, uh, what did I say? Superfluous. Uh, they say, actually, well, Bar that was a superfluous, it's a superfluous Barbara. Uh, so it's not the, the Barbara. And we try, I also tried to get Bet, uh, but she was unavailable. 
Okay, so I'm a semi voice across the deep dark night, lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones. I'm trying to create a safe place or a, a safe, uh, a friendly uh, situation. And if you're new, it's not in, 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 uh, one time a teacher marked that on my paper, indentaneous. And I, they said, you over, because I was trying to get 50 pages out of a 30 page paper. So I tried to indent everything and then a double indentation. He said that was indentaneous. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was, maybe I imagined that one. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm here to keep you company if you're new. Oh, uh, this podcast isn't instantaneous. And what I mean by that is uh, it takes a few tries if you're new for a lot of listeners to because uh, the podcast is a bit different. But even for most, I mean, there are some listeners where the podcast works pretty co- quickly because it's part of their routine. But that took time to develop, right? Uh, so our relationship won't be, you know, it was some people it's in- instantaneous. Uh, like my teacher, they say, I, I give this podcast to an F or uh, an NI needs improvement. Uh, I mean, more in a podcast world, it's like, well, this isn't for me. If only I got those emails. I, I think those people are so well adjusted. They say, oh, this podcast isn't for me. I'll just move on. Uh, and I do have a site for the people that don't make that choice, but they say, need this podcast, is like, uh, it's beyond needing improvement. You could go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. Uh, but what was I saying? So give it a few tries, but also the structure of the show, uh, like it shows that it's not an in, in, instant uh, thing. So we start off with a few minutes of business. That's how we keep the podcast free for everybody. Uh, then there's a, a intro. Now the intro is like a show within a show. It's about 12 to 15 minutes of me kind of explaining what the podcast is slowly and never clearly being able to achieve that. Uh, but it's also, for regular listeners, uh, it's, it's kind of ideally part of their wind-down routine, uh, where you could start listening before you get in bed, or right when you get in bed as you're easing in, you know, you're getting comfortable, getting cozy. Or, you know, you could be, here's the thing, you could, like, you could start it when you're brushing your teeth and stuff in the other room, because you're not going to miss too much. Uh, but whatever works, like a... Uh, now that I've been doing this for hour, however many years, six, six years, I've seen a lot of people, you know, some people skip the intro, a few percentage points of people, they just skip ahead to 18 or 20 minutes and then start there. Uh, or they listen on Patreon, they just listen to the story only versions. Uh, and some people fall asleep in the first few minutes so, and then some people ease their way into bedtime. They fall asleep during the story. Some people listen all night. You know, some people, they turn the podcast on in the middle of the night. They don't start the night with the podcast. And there are listeners that listen during the day to kind of unwind or in the tubby. Uh, you know, it's it's a bit different. Uh, but oh, the reason the intro is kind of uh, long and meandering is to give you plenty of room to drift off. Uh, so there's an intro, then there's some business between the intro and the show. And then there's the episode. Tonight will be our uh, episodically modular series, uh, uh, which the working title is The Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. And uh, so that'll be like, uh, you could listen to that in any order. I think this will be the second episode. And then there'll be some thank yous at the end of the show. So that's just structurally how the show is made. Uh, what else do you need to know if you're new? I'm glad you're here. That's one thing. Uh, like, I hope this can help you. Uh, and you do deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, and that's why I make the show. Uh, other things to know, you don't need to listen to me. You may have already figured that out. Uh, but, uh, you know, I tend to meander, I tend to go off topic. My logic is, uh, it's neither logical nor illogical. It's, uh, it's, it's like, it's like a spiral gyro or something. You see, well, it's like, a, it's like his logic has been, scri- it's scribble logic. And I say, that's it. That's my, one of my top five podcasts, a scribble logic cast, uh, the podcast about uh, scribbling, lo- lo- scribbled logic and things interesting to scribble logicers. Uh, also, Script Notes is ahead of that podcast, so I listen to that one first because I love John and Craig. 
Uh, but so, where was it? I got, oh, so you don't need to listen to me. Also, there's no pressure to fall asleep. I, this is a little bit, uh, I don't know what to counter, counter, counterclockwise, uh, but, uh, it, it's like, uh, this is a podcast to be here as you fall asleep, uh, to keep you company as you drift off, uh, that I can kind of be at your side walking or talking, and then you kind of just, uh, you know, you, you head off into dreamland. But if you can't sleep, I, I'm dedicated to you. Uh, whether you fall asleep in two minutes or you, you're here to the very end. Uh, so I'll be here till the end of the episode. And then there's episodes after episodes for you. Uh, because I know sometimes you just need a friend in the deep, dark night. And in some sense, that's really what the podcast is about. Like at bedtime, as you say, well, at least they got a friendly, like my boar bud, Scoots is waiting for me. And, you know, you had a rough day being a human out there. And for me, at least, you could have a rough day being a human. Then you lie down. And like I said, that whole, like for me, I have what I call brain bots. Uh, they're different parts of my personality or as different, you know, I don't know, they're vo you know, voices or, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. And as soon as my head hits the pillow, they say, what are the, what were you thinking? And I'd say, when? Well, let me get out my list. Uh, and he'd say, well, I thought we agreed to, we're working together. One, the ship that everybody works together on floats well. Well, no one ever said that, and there's a good reason why. And he'd say, okay, well, I just want to get some sleep, actually. I had a long day. Well, yeah, I was watching all day. It was long, you know, could have, if you were doing better, the day would have been shorter. I know, but uh, I'm just ready to go to bed now. And uh, I think it'd be good for all of us if we, you know, snuggle. What, what do you say we snuggle together and get a good night's sleep? Because we're kind of a team, right? We, In the end, we really love each other. And we're all in this together. Like, they, like I said, the rowboat without oars is just floating. What did you get, a uh, a uh, waterlogged copy of Bartlett's Familiar Quotations? Yeah, I did, actually. It was it was coffee-logged, not waterlogged. That's why my quotes are so off today. You really got me there. So anyway, what do you think about that? How about you come in here for a hug? Uh, and, we, we sn you know, we don't have to snuggle. We could just lie. Well, what about that sleep podcaster? You know, what if we just listen to him instead? We could all lie here together and observe him. And then I'll take, you know, that that would take my mind off of stuff. I don't know about you. Well, that sounds just sweet to me. It's as sweet as the tea in the boat that's rowing as the teamwork does. Okay, why don't you put away that coffee log, uh, Bartlett's familiar quotations. That, that, oh, because that was that was Abraham Lillen uh, that did that. Uh, okay, well, that's great. So tell me about this uh, sleep podcast. Well, it's this guy. He's a familiar guy. You might be familiar with him. He's a, he, he just uh, tells a story. First, he does this intro where he tries to explain what the podcast is. And, you know, because, you know, a lot of people, they have these really smart, well-adapted parts of them that kind of have, like, their unifunction, and they tend to get bedtime because there's, you know, because they finally, uh, there's finally a quiet moment, uh, they they want to get some attention, and he gives it, believe me, he gives it so much attention. He said that, uh, holy cow, maladjusted, he said one time, uh, they could, he, he said hail adjusted because that's what I think it's in this book that's coffee logged though. So let me get this straight. There's a guy that made a podcast, uh, to entertain us, the, the great unappreciated brain and personality parts of the world. Yeah, he, he actually, I think he said, you're, you know, you put the humanity in humanity. And so he makes a show just to kind of take your mind off of, you know, because you have a tough job. Uh, and so he said, I want to take your mind off of that. I want to be your boar bud. And let everybody kind of get snuggled in bed and get comfortable and just kind of relax. And do, so what do you say we do that with our human? Just kind of kick back. Well, I like that idea. So what's he going to talk about? 
Well, more or less, n- not much. You know, he he talks about stuff. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but then it's also, you're like, eh, hey, I don't know. Uh, it's something about uh, there's like a, a, a triangle scientist and a, a Sosceles uh, something. Oof. Sounds, you sounds, uh, you're right. It sounds kind of interesting. Well, great. I'll see you in a, a few minutes. Why don't you get comfortable? All right, so that's the show, and that's kind of like uh, I wish I could have that conversation with myself at night, uh, and that's kind of what I'm here for is to do that for you, uh, to be your boar friend, to be your boar bud, and, and, and to keep you company because I do, do, do believe you deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, so if you're new, give the show a few tries. You know, see if it works, and uh, that's it. I really am glad you're here. I really appreciate your time. And I work very hard, I yearn, and I strive because I want to help you fall asleep. And here's a couple of ways we keep the show a-going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, the uh, physical sensations, uh, so st- you know stuff uh, like that that's keeping you up. It could be out- outside stuff. It could be you know try whatever's keeping you awake. I'd like to take your mind off of that. I think I said that. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, uh, or, or yeah, what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was trying to think of something. Because I always say that. I say, what I'm going to do is send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones. I'm going to use gentle motions with my hands to create a safe place. Uh, kind of carving it out, smoothing it out, patting it. I'm rubbing it down. I'm saying safe place. Uh, lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders. I forget how uh, secure, uh, circuitous logic uh, all those things, I'm, I'm going to send my voice across the deep like some toilet meanders. I honestly forgot what I say next, uh, but it, you know, to take your mind off stuff and help you fall asleep, to keep you company if you can't fall asleep. And uh, honestly, sometimes my brain like uh, runs out. They say, what was in there? What, what, what were we supposed to say next? I don't know, but I, I guess I'm supposed to kind of greet you. I, I did change up the order there. I think that's what threw me off, but I'm the podcaster who's naturally thrown off anyway. Uh, but I'm here, if you're new, uh, or if, if you're a new regular listener, you might say, Scoots, this is going a little bit different. I say, yeah, well, we're staying calm. We're staying in the moment. Uh, I'm staying here for you to keep you company. Now, if you're new, a couple of things I'd like you to know right up front. Uh, this podcast is a little bit different. So we uh, try to uh, kind of sink in, r- relax, and uh, kind of... Uh, Observe me with a little bit of distance if you're new, because you kind of say, well, this doesn't make a lot of sense. This is this show defies logic. And I said, well, I don't really defy logic. I just noticed, uh, it, is that Spock that says, well, that's illogical? He would, can you imagine, uh, like, so Spock was on the original Star Trek, uh, and, uh, but, but, uh, I think he used to say, well, that's like Spike and Vulcans like logic. I'm pretty sure this is like, I guess, a broad generalization. Excuse me, Vulcans. But like, I don't know. I guess Spock would find me logical. But actually, the thing is, you don't need to be a Vulcan to find me illogical. There you go. That's what I meant. If you're a human, you're going to find me, like you say, well, most people I like follow some sort of logic. This podcast, it kind of peters out, doesn't go anywhere, gets started, then slows down a bit. And you say, you're right. Uh, so if you're new, those are some things you could, could kind of, instead of, uh, I say, well, I don't really define logic or expectation. I just kind of drive around it. I take the long way around. There you go. Like some people say, I take the long way. I say, well, yeah, I saw the logic and I drove uh, they said, well, that's a logical way to go, right? And they said, oh, did you say go right at logic? Okay. Well, there's a, I don't know. There's some grass in the road there. So I'm going to take this other path here in the middle, like uh, not right and not that logical way. Just off that. Not, no, no, not off the beaten path either. That area next to it. 
Oh, that's not a path? Oh, well, that's the way I went. Uh, so that's the way I'll go. So, the, oh, so, okay, so if you're new, though, let me get back to you. Sorry, I got lost in my, uh, when I, t- I took a wrong turn at Logic, uh, just like Bugs Bunny used to take a wrong turn at Pismo Beach. And as a kid, I never got, I never, I guess I missed the heydays of Piz. Okay, here's a question. Was that just a joke or did Pismo Beach have a heyday? Also, to most, a lot of people. So Bugs Bunny, back before the, the, the uh, there used to be two big cartoon groups. Uh, there's the Warner Brothers cartoons, and then there was the, the, the company D-I-S-N-E-Y. So you had the mouse, like Mickey Mouse, and you had Bugs Bunny. And I'm no historian, but it, uh, and I think it was before my childhood, but even during my childhood, while Bugs Bunny was losing momentum, again, maybe to marketing do- dollars, maybe just to beloved, uh, be, maybe because you could go visit the other one. Uh, but, uh, but Bugs Bunny was another cartoon like figure that was really liked by kids. A little bit more acerbic and more of a trickster god than Mickey. No offense, Mickey. You know, Mickey's more of a aw shucks, let me help you carry that suitcase. Or, oh, you got, like, Mickey's like, uh, Mickey, you got a great, there's, I can't find a flaw with you in, in, in the opening of a sleep podcast. Uh, but Bugs Bunny was a little bit more of a, inf- well, okay, so what was my point? I have no idea what my point was. Oh, Bugs Bunny, you seek to take a wrong turn at Pismo Beach. Uh, and I guess I'll have to Google it. I thought that was maybe in L.A. or, or like somewhere, but then I said maybe it's in Florida. Or maybe it's just a beach they saw on a map, and they said that's the be- that must be a great beach. Because uh, as much as I love California, uh, we have really nice beaches for sitting on and looking at the beauty of the ocean, especially in Northern California. But as far as swimming goes, which I associate with beaches, I mean, I think the Southern California's got that you know pretty good. But you have to drive pretty far south. I think you got to get all the way down. I don't know. I've never seen. Uh, I'd have to see about like San Luis Obispo or something. I've never swam there, uh, but usually you got to get all the way down to like Ventura County, I think, to, to get good swimming. But me, I don't know. So maybe they say, "Well, that's where Pism- Pismo Beach is, Scoots." And I say, "Well, I took the wrong turn at remembering Pismo Beach, Big Bugs Bunny." Anyway, what was my so, oh, this podcast is a bit illogical. That was my thank you, Spock, for bringing it back. I guess I could hire Spock to just hang out while I'm recording and say, well, that was illogical. And I'd say, thanks, but let me like to rail in my meanders. Okay, so where was I? If you're new, structurally, what to expect? Uh, the show starts off with a few minutes of business. And that's how we keep the show free for everybody, uh, is the people that support the sponsors or become patrons. So that's a really nice thing is like, uh, this is shows you communally are supported by people that support the show. Uh, so that's why business is up front. There's also business between the intro and the episode. So there's a business, then there's an intro. Now we're about eight minutes into the intro, which is usually around 12 minutes or so of me kind of explaining what the podcast is and going off topic and then saying, well, okay, let me try to bring it back. And so, uh, like, uh, yeah. So, so I, I guess I don't know what my point is. Uh, Oh, what the intro is. Oh yeah. So sorry. I was like thinking about, uh, <laughs> I was like thinking like originally I was going to talk about plants in this intro. And I said, well, I guess we're not going to be talking about plants this intro. Yeah, but so, uh, yeah, thanks, Bugs Bunny. I get Bugs Bunny and uh, uh, who's that, Spock? Uh, they, I, they, I think they have teamed up. I've seen a cartoon version of Spock somewhere, like a comedic version, but that could have been somewhere else. Uh, I don't think Spock and Bugs Bunny have appeared together, but that's, you know, it is not, it is within the realm of possibility. How about this? If you're going to Comic Con, or something like that, or some other con with a cosplay that has, I don't know when the next Star Trek movie comes out, but you know, there's just, there's a new Star Trek TV shows. So no, and like, I don't know which, if Spock's in any of those lineups, but go, what if you went to one of those dressed as Bugs Bunny 
like, let's say, let's just imagine it's a, a Star Trek con, like Trek con. You go as Bugs Money in a, in a, um, like Starfleet uniform. Yeah, but then you, at some point you take like your, your Spock dressed as Bugs Money in a Starfleet uniform. Too much? Okay. Oh, cause I gotta get, okay. So the intro is a part of the podcast. Uh, it's not really efficient. It kind of, yeah, it's, it drives around the logic, but it's a, it's a part of people's bedtime routine about 95, I think, I can't remember the last statistic I said, you know, like maybe 8% of listeners kind of skip it or less, like skip the intro and go straight to the story. But for most listeners, they use this long intro about 12 minutes to get ready for bed or they're already in bed and they're winding down. They're listening to scoots. Some listeners are easing off in dreamland and some like you are just getting comfortable and cozy. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for again for coming by. So the intro is kind of a part of the show and a show within the show. And if you're new, some people can find it a bit frustrating because they say, is it, are you going to ever start talking about Star Trek? And they'd say, yeah, I'm going to do that next in a little while. I'll be start talking about Star Trek The Next Generation. Been a while since I have. Uh, but yeah, so that's the structure. So we have the intro, then some business. Then I'll talk about Star Trek The Next Generation, an episode. I'll talk about stuff that came up in the episode. It won't really be re- super reflective of the episode just because that's not my, uh, that's just not what I'm good at. Uh, and it's not super sleepy. And then we have some thank yous at the end. So that's the structure of the show. Here's a couple other things. You don't need to listen. You may have come to that conclusion yourself, uh, or you say, but really, some people turn me way down and some people listen to me at a mumble. But but it's more like it's an optional thing. You can listen, but you don't have to. So you say, I, I, there's no pressure from my end for you to listen to me. Or remember, or you say, well, you can't miss out on this part uh, where I, like, uh, confuse Bugs Bunny and you know, whatever. And confuse Pismo Beach, you know, with Ventura Beach or whatever. So... I say, oh, yeah, I guess you could miss that. Like, it's okay with me, right? If you fell asleep or you just kind of were drifting in and out. Uh, so no need to listen, but there's also no pressure to fall asleep. The reason the shows are about an hour or a little bit over an hour is because I want to give you plenty of time. No pressure. Uh, you drift off, when, you know, it, you, you, like, uh, you drift off when you need to. I'll be here to keep you company. If you can't sleep, uh, I'll be here till the end. I don't like make half a show and then start just droning on. I mean, I drone on, but it's with intention and ideally present uh, that you could feel that I'm here for you to keep you company and to take your mind off of stuff. Uh, so no pressure to listen, no pressure to fall asleep. You, the reason I make the show is because one, I've been there, particularly lately I've had the, uh, I haven't had the drift off issues, but I've had the, like, uh, like, uh, just unsettled nights issues. We'll just leave it like that. And so I know how it feels and I really, truly believe you deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, I want you to know whether you're new or you're a re- regular listener, I'm glad you're here. I work very hard. I yearn and I strive and I'd really love to help you fall asleep. And, uh, here's a couple of ways we keep the show going.